you've beaten all of Celeste. And then, for old time's sake, you drop back into chapter one and find a new berry, a golden one. You pick it up, but you don't collect it. And a few minutes in, you make a dumb mistake and are greeted with this sound. Then, it all hits you. I gotta beat this level deathless. For this video, I'll be taking on the seasides. Yeah, they're the hardest per room, but they have by far the least rooms per chapter. Naturally, I kick things off in chapter one. Okay. Chapter 1C took me 211 deaths when I was getting the achievement, and for right now, I am not going to pick that bad boy up. I'm just going to see how many deaths it takes for me to beat it normally. Oh my god, that was crazy! <laughs> oh, I like that. That was good. Bitch! Oh! oh, oh. Aw, oh, you stink! You're stinky! Oh, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> okay. What is a man to do? Okay, it's fine. I just don't know what the right timing is or what the right jump is on that last part. What was that? I just did two jumps. I only- I was holding down A. There we go. There we go! Jesus! At the end of the first test run, I racked up 26 deaths. Despite the huge improvement, it still felt like too many deaths to be going for the golden right now. So I dropped back in for one more round of practice, and then this happened. No way, I actually just did it deathless. I should have picked up the berry. Ah. Oh. It was kind of disappointing, but at least I know I can do it. I mean, it's good. I did it deathless in two tries, so let's not, you know, be too upset here. Now, picking up the berry makes you nervous, or at least it makes me nervous. So I'm not going to say I'm going to get it deathless this run, but it's possible. I'm capable of doing it. And only seven deaths later, I did just that. That was pretty easy. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> chapter two is up next, and based on the previous deaths, this should be my easiest chapter. Yikers, dude. Yikers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was not the right order for that. <laughs> that fucked me up a lot. Okay, we finally got there. We got there in the end. Come on. Despite appearances, I ended up dying slightly more than chapter one, but with what I'd learned from chapter one, I went ahead and started the golden runs anyway. Oh, I did not retain this. Didn't retain that at all. I didn't retain what the, the pattern I'm supposed to do is. Cringe. The good news is, the first room is very easy. <laughs> it's just that easy, boys. It really is when you think about it. Now we get to the one that I'm actually nervous about. Uh, the seaside. Nope. That's chapter three. It's all seaside. I'm stupid. Chapter three looks like it comes out swinging, but with little timing, it's nothing to worry about. And once you've adjusted to the wall bounces of the second room, the same is true there. Okay, that's pretty easy. I can I can do that. But in order to finish this seaside up, you'll have to go against everyone's favorite Asian ghost, Oshiro. He attacks pretty fast, huh? Oh, I missed. That's cringe, dude. This was gonna be a piece of shit. I can already tell. <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna shit. You know what? That wasn't too bad. That wasn't that bad. I just, hey, not that bad. <laughs> it really sucked when I first stepped onto the scene, but, um,. Overall, I'm kind of chilling on that. The deaths are going up on my first attempts. It was 26, then 30, then 36. <laughs> While he was annoying on the practice run, I pretty much had his number after that. Oh my sweet Nora. I crushed it. I crushed it. Second try, he says? Outstanding. Standing this guy is. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of schmoovin'. I've gotten three golden berries already, and the levels only took me 30 minutes total. But after I stepped into chapter four, it soon became clear that my pace was about to take a nosedive. I it pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Okay, not hard at all. Ooh, gonna be very hard. Yeah, I don't like this already. What? Have to save the dash for that? It's fine. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't like this one. <laughs> dude, dude, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Okay, I at least, I think I have at least figured out what the path is. Right up until this last jump, I'm not 
super confident in. I'm gonna scream, dude. I'm- Oh! I'm, I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Alright. That was awesome. I love that. I like the part where I used the dash. I thought that was pretty cool. Marvelous. Okay, I figured it out. Whew, thank God that was the last room. Are you fucking me? Are you fucking me? Oh! Hey, that's a pretty strong win. I think I could've used that. Maybe I can use that to my advantage next time. That was actually really easy. I think the second room is harder than the first one. That was crazy. That was crazy how... Oh my god, that was so different. At the end of my practice, I clocked in 109 deaths. More than the first three chapters combined. So before I go for the golden runs, I really should get some more practice in. That was crazy. That was actually so much better. How many de how many deaths was that? That was like... 10, right? I, I don't know though, deaths accumulate pretty quickly. They, they sneak up on you. It might have been more than that. <laughs> it was 11. <laughs> yeah, there are those deaths sneaking up on you. I was off by one. Me and my big mouth. I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm gonna shit my pants. Fuck! Oh. Me and my fat fingers. Hi, I'm Mint Muffled, and I have fat fingers. Roughly three times the diameter of an average adult male. That was crazy. That was crazy. I can restart, though. I'm so good. I'm so good. I mean, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I couldn't even get it out. I was gonna say, I mean, I'm just gonna die anyway, but whatever. <laughs> you don't deserve to live. I like that attempt. I think that one might be my favorite. You're such a bitch. You're a bitch. You hail from bitch land. Capital, uh, something else that says bitch in it. Population, you. <laughs> I'm gonna live. There's spikes on the top. I forgot. That was it. I just, just go home if you're not gonna try. Why'd you even show up? We're here to play a game and you're phoning it in. That's so good. I'm getting so good at this level. That's all I'm saying. You see that timer? Not the big one. <laughs> that hasn't happened yet. I didn't know that was an option. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. This game cheats. It makes up ways to kill you. You're doing too well. You're thinking, mm, I think I might win this one actually. And you're feeling good, right? You feel at peace. Maybe your heart rate's pumping. You, you know, maybe this is the best day of your life. Maybe you're also at peace because the, your time has finally come. Out there, that's their time. But in here, this is your time. And then the game just fucks you by inventing a new way to kill you. Just making it up. Suddenly, that bubble, it's a little lower than it was before. Okay, so like here? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I was so concerned about spacing it right, I forgot. And it's the game's fault. <laughs> if nothing else, I am improving on like the level as a whole. So I'll take that. <laughs> Dude. Dude, can I just not get immediately struck down by hubris once? It's like, oh, that might be top five <laughs> hardest I've laughed at a video game. That's all I needed. I just needed to get a laugh out. That's all it took. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I feel so good, actually. That, I, I needed that. My soul needed that laugh. I feel so much better. In an interesting twist of fate, I left the hardest level so far feeling the best yet. And that's good, because now it's time for chapter 5. And based on the deaths from the first time I played it, this is going to be the second hardest seaside. Wait, can I, can I wait? Can I take my time? Maybe I can. Let me try. Because I might be able to do this and then just... No, it's way too low. Okay. I keep... I keep looking at the blocks and just forgetting to look at the, the spike wall. 
A lot of wall bounces. <laughs> Not happy about this. You know, if nothing else, I feel like I'm improving a lot faster. <laughs> dude, dude, just once. Like, you know that footage has to go along with those words, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? Are you being serious to me? I think my biggest problem here so far is having the mix-ups between having to do full jumps and like half jumps. And also just, just a, a touch more, the wall jumps bounces, whatever. I don't care. I don't care about your, your Celeste move lexicon, okay? It's, it's about time I talk about this. It's about time. Erm, um, I can't believe that he called the wall bounce a wave dash. Grow up. It's all a wave dash. Back in my day, we only needed one name for a trick. And we were happy. That's a lot easier. <laughs> I'm a lot better at that than I used to be. All right, how we doing? 587 to 647. Oh, I can't do that math. Uh, oh, no, 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 60, 59. I can't handle this precision. I'm more of a, I'm more of an artistic Celeste player. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. God, I'm really good at that last part. Everything else is like difficult and really precise, but when I get there, I'm like, ah, oh, this is my home. <laughs> yet again, I got my practice in, and yet again, I was ready for the berry runs. But this time, things didn't go quite so smoothly. Yeah. <laughs> We've hit the part of the Celeste run where I start getting very singy. That's crazy. You did the one thing where I don't get either. I don't get to recover or make it to the end. Oh, hey, baby. Oh, baby, lock the door and turn them lights down low. I love that. I love that. First time I get there with the golden, and it's the first time I fuck up the end. It's all right. <laughs> Welcome to part two of Mint Muffled's Fat Fingers. <laughs> what am I doing? You know what, though? Never mind. Never mind. You all know what I was going to say, and I know you know because I died when I was about to say it. So you know what I was going to say. Let me give you a, a peek into the mind of Mencia. This one's actually getting on my nerves, and I think the reason it's getting so frustrating is because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt I can do this. Like, it's so doable for me. I just, I keep goofing. I can't do it all consecutively. Even though I can. I can do it all consecutively. That's just, uh, that's a frustrating thing, you know? And I would love to tell you boys that it's, you know, it's gonna be over soon, but I, I don't know. You know, we could be here forever. This video might not be even coming out. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking to myself right now. I knew I could do it. Like, it wasn't hard. <laughs> Jesus. Now that we're at chapter six, we've just started what I consider to be the end game. The game really starts pulling out all the stops and you can easily get stuck on a screen for hours if you get tilted. They call it the chapter six slump, boys. And I am deep in it. Fuck! The first screen took a little while to get used to since you have to use these imprecise bumpers to line up for wall bounces, but it really wasn't too bad. After that, there's this falling section, except it can't make up its mind because you need to go up just as much as down. And same as the first, not hard. Then along comes screen three, which is actually split into two sections. The first being this Kevin Marathon, and I'm actually surprised I didn't remember this. It was one of my favorite parts. And for part two of the final screen, we've got the bumper gauntlet. Several Several bumpers in a row where I have to get perfect sideways launches while dodging obstacles and even getting a spicy wall bounce in the process before smacking that sweetheart. Okay, that's not too bad. That actually isn't too bad. And after about a hundred deaths in practice, it was time for the real runs. You love to see it. Unfortunately, I more than doubled my deaths here. I just... It's such a stupid section. It's so silly. At this point, I could just do the level in my sleep. Like, I don't... We gotta get this show on the road, baby. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. I'm gaming. It's marvelous. Marvelousgaming.com.impreg. This ended up being the biggest slog for me, but I was eventually able to get this pretty solid run. I am the best! Oh my god! I am an evolved human 
better than you. Three quarters of the berries done and we have finally arrived at chapter seven. And with the 900 deaths I've already got, this one could end up being the longest by far. Who thought we'd be back here again, huh? When I played this the first time, I never thought I'd set foot here again. Up first was just a torrent of wall bounces with the help of an updraft. It really feels like halfway through the seasides, they remembered that they wanted you to do wall bounces and just heavily compensated on the back half. Then there's this sick spring section that does the double boing. That was pretty easy. And that leads us to the final, very difficult screen full of precise positioning from start to finish. Can we not? Unusually difficult. I thought that last bit would be pretty easy for me, especially with my showing in chapter five. I thought that was like, that would have been a strength of mine, but. There we go. Took your sweet fucking time. Okay, well, that took 20 minutes to beat it once. <laughs> See how many deaths we got there. Another 100 deaths in the bank, so naturally I ran another round of practice and got it in only seven deaths. That was crazy. That was like 10 deaths, max. That was obviously low enough to start doing real runs, and yet again, I was not ready for what was about to happen. That was crazy. Can we agree? That was kind of crazy. And by that I mean, I beat it in 16 tries. <laughs> oh no. That one hurt a little bit. That one hit me in my soul. 17. 17 tries. I'm fucking gaming, dude. I'm I'm gaming. I'm chilling, dude. I'm chilling, dude. Knowing wave dash makes that so much less nerve-wracking, that last jump. <laughs> it's so much better. I got it though. That was easy. I mean, it was a few deaths, but it didn't take that long. And hey, first level to break a thousand deaths. And now I'm finally here. Chapter eight, the light at the end of the tunnel and the longest final room of the seasides. For the first room, you have to input the right combo to fill in this big heart meter. And then the game thinks it has to teach me about hypers, which is honestly insulting. Don't they know I'm a top 3,700 speedrunner? And the hits keep coming with chapter eight mechanics. I do not like this room. Like, even if I do well on it, I don't like- I just don't like it. I really don't like Chapter 8 mechanics at all. And I know I've already said this, and maybe you're tired of hearing it, but I'm not gonna stop. Well, now, come on now. There we go! Of course, this couldn't end any other way than the final room of 8C, a marathon of obstacles using mechanics from every chapter in the game. And you know what? I kinda crushed it. Fuck! Fuck! Oh! Okay, that was not that bad. Fun fact, I actually died more in the second room than the final room. And I hate to be anticlimactic here, but after a few runs that failed in the first two rooms, I set foot into the last room for the first time with a golden berry and kinda one-shot it. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I did that. Oh my God. How many tries was that? That was like four. Sorry if I blew out the mic, but dude, <laughs> is I that six times? <laughs> let's let's go ahead and review. Chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and chapter eight. Thank you for watching. If you want to see me get the A and B Goldens too, go ahead and subscribe. I am sure I will get it done within a year.